Hey guys, in today's video, I will be reviewing the top 8 best espresso machine. I made this list based on my personal experience, and I try to rank them based on their quality, durability, customer reviews, and more. If you want to know about the best pricing and more information, you can check the description links below. Number 8 in my list is Ascaso Dream Espresso Machine. The Ascaso Dream PID is an elegant, very compact machine that can produce professional-level espresso drinks on a consistent basis. If you're somewhat knowledgeable about espresso and want an accessible machine that can hold up through lots of practice, the Dream PID offers the right mix of easy programmability and hands-on experience. We found the espresso it made to be remarkably full-flavored and complex. Better than that from any other machine we tested. With little variation in quality across multiple test rounds unless we deliberately changed our settings. The steam wand is also capable of frothing milk to the texture you desire, as long as you put in the work to learn how to use it, since there's no automatic setting, resulting in creamy but still robust tasting lats. This is the first machine we've recommended that costs more than $1,000, but we think it's justified. The Escasa was quite enjoyable to use and usually produce far superior espresso compared with the competition. Number 7 in my list is Gaggia Rai 9380 Espresso Machine. The Gaggia Classic Pro is the updated version of the Gaggia Classic, which has been a popular entry-level machine for decades thanks to its simple, approachable design and capacity to produce worthy espresso shots. While the Classic Pro has a somewhat improved steam wand compared with the Classics, it's still imprecise compared with that of the Breville Bambino Plus. It also struggles to muster milk froth with a velvety texture, though it's capable of doing so once you've practiced a bit. The Pro isn't quite as easy for beginners to master as our top pick, but it was able to produce shots with greater nuance and acidity, and often more intense crema video. If you have a taste for straight espresso, that advantage could outweigh the gadget's drawbacks. Number 6 in my list is Mio Espresso Machine. We like the Diletta Mio, and if you're looking for a prosumer machine, but hoping to keep the cost down, it's a great choice. The coffee is delicious, but that's table stakes for an espresso maker. It has a digital PID to control, to a degree, the temperature of the water, a solid steam wand that is connected to its own heating circuit for near simultaneous brewing and steaming. It also heats up more quickly than other high-end machines thanks to a thermoblock. It was ready in well under 10 minutes. Another smart design feature is the water reservoir, which slides out from the side rather than from the top, so if you're keeping it under a cabinet, it's easy to refill. Number 5 in my list is Diletta Bello Plus Espresso Machine. This one was right up there with our top Lelit pick, and we recommend it without hesitation. While tasters preferred the espresso from the Lelit just slightly, the Bella Plus has all the features that the Mara X lacks. A digital PD, a shot timer, and programmable pre-infusion. The dual pressure gauges for the boiler and the group head were a nice touch, with green markings to let you know the pressure is where it should be. The Bello Plus also had a faster heat up time at just under 11 minutes. It is one of the largest machines we tested and doesn't come the comfortable cup clearance of the Mara X. It does, however, have an incredibly powerful steam wand, maybe even too powerful if that's possible. Number 4 in my list is Wakako Nanopresso Portable Espresso. Okay, hear us out here. When you dip this low in price on an espresso maker, you're not going to get the same shot you would out of the Lelit Mara X or even the Breville Bambino Plus. But if you're willing to use a little elbow grease, you will get good espresso and give up zero counter space. The Nanopresso is a 6x2 manual espresso machine typically marketed as a coffee maker for camping, hiking, or combating bad hotel coffee, not unlike an Aeropress. But we found that the Nanopresso gives espresso makers even three times its cost a run for their money. The tiny tool works by creating pressure through a piston pump. If you're at home with a scale and a grinder, just fill the machine with 8 grams of freshly ground coffee, tamp it down with the back of the plastic scoop, and add 80 milliliters of water heated between 190 degrees 200 degrees Fahrenheit, then squeeze a button on the front of the machine repeatedly. Number 3 in my list is DeLonghi Eletta Espresso Machine. 
If we're being honest, the Aletta Explore didn't come out of the gate strong. We really struggled to get the espresso grind dialed in. The built-in burr grinder has 13 settings, and you're going to want it set coarser than you'd probably expect. We ended up liking it set at around 8. It was taking so long to get it right that we were ready to tag the Jura E8 as our super automatic pick. More on that below. But we're glad we took the time to get it right, because the DeLonghi is a terrifically versatile machine. The espresso shots were good, not as good as the Jura, but something we'd be happy to drink after dinner. However, the sheer number of drinks available on the Aletta Explorer's touchscreen, more than 40, is impressive. Number two in my list is Breville Bambino Plus Espresso Machine. Breville's diminutive Bambino Plus made huge improvements over earlier models like the not-tricked-out regular Bambino and Breville's more expensive and hulking infuser. For one thing, it heats up almost instantly. It goes from off to ready to brew in less than five seconds. It only comes with pressurized filter baskets, also known as double wall filter baskets, which almost guarantee the proper pressure and good crema from a single or double shot, even if you don't tamp perfectly, grind your coffee beans too coarsely, or don't have precisely the right amount of grounds. Pressurized baskets also work with pre-ground coffee. We don't recommend using it, but if it's your thing, you can with this machine. Number one in my list is Barista Perfetta Plus Espresso Machine. This is an example of how long-term testing of a product can be valuable. Our top pick for much of 2022 was the flashy Breville Barista Express Impress. We still think it is a good machine, but after more than six months of consistent use, we found an issue that made us reconsider. The built-in grinder would jam with lighter roasted coffee beans. More on this below. As a result, we're putting the Solis Barista Perfetta plus back on top. Solis is the Swiss brand behind the beloved entry-level Burr grinder. The Scala and their espresso maker is a terrific balance of simplicity and customizability. The espresso shots we pulled from the Solis were great and in line with the semi-automatic Breville machines. The Infuser, the Barista Express, and the Barista Express Impress. All right, guys, this was our today's video. If you find this video helpful for you, then like the video, and if you come to our channel first time, then hit the subscribe button for our amazing upcoming videos. Be sure to the check out the links in the description for the updated price of all products discussed in this video. Hope you have a great day and see you soon in the next video.